so we have andrew uh andrew is here from australia and uh, one of our uh, sponsors for the event so a uh, big round of applause and uh, andrew's team has been uh, uh, sending like really uh, i mean they have been developing a lot on erp next also and they have sent some started sending a lot of good pull requests too so we, we hope a uh, lot of expectations from andrew Hi guys, my name is Andrew Tognolo and uh, I work uh, for a company in uh, Australia that does process control systems uh, and uh, mm, we are not a big company, we are a small company like most of probably all of you guys and uh, we are working with spreadsheet uh, and uh, separate account uh, packages etc. So one day uh, because my boss wants to grow uh, we decide to you know start using a uh, ERP software that basically was uh, uh, the guys were basically approaching us to sell a uh, ERP software. I don't want to mention the name, but they are big names. Uh, they were saying it does everything, and my boss was asking, "Does it do that? Does it do that?" No, no, no. Okay, we just kind of postponed the 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 the, the problem. Then my boss is uh, uh, very. Uh, uh, it's a salesperson, so he wants to have a communication embedded in the system. He doesn't want a separate package of accounting that is a uh, standalone and uh, another system where there is no communication or you cannot read what's going on. So uh, we came across with uh, ERP Next and uh, was suggested by uh, one of our engineers. And uh, uh, at the first glance, uh, he said, uh, Yeah, looks. Very nice, neat, tidy. And uh, my boss said, Look at you, go have a look. And uh, I start uh, looking. I'm an accountant in the company, so I'm not a developer. I was a developer uh, years ago and still have uh, that kind of approach. But uh, my boss uh, asked me to, to investigate a bit about uh, this uh, ERP next. So I went to have a look. I saw there were some limitations, but I said, uh, Let's simplify our process because uh, the, the friction that were in the company were so frustrating even for myself that I couldn't you know really answer you know, employees I couldn't really answer to everybody immediately because uh, I was basically queue my office I had a queue of people asking me things. Now I'm happy my boss is happy because we are using the OPNX everybody see everything and uh, uh, we can generate automatic reports uh, we can uh, really access to information easily. It's a great uh, uh, bank source. It's a good database where uh, with all the limitations that we still are, we can uh, make up by dumping the data, by refining via Excel. So, uh, the, the important thing is if we do, we record the thing just once. That's really the important thing about uh, this ERP system. So, but uh, my boss uh, is a 65 years old uh, bloke. Uh, he's not really a, he does no programming, but he's not really a, a programming person. And uh, when I first look at the ERP Next, uh, by the way, we've been using since 2014. And since 2014, we are uh, hiring uh, developers to help us to uh, make up uh, anything what is missing from uh, the, the version and uh, we try to uh, you know advance and contribute to the community but uh, my boss was resistant because there were some limitations of uh, user-friendly uh, assets that uh, made, made myself as a team work for me to uh, you know move upon this problem so let's I want to show you what we did what we are doing Okay. Okay. We introduce uh, my my boss' first complaint is uh, I don't want to type uh, uh, field name. I don't want to type. Uh, I don't. I want to access the information straight away on a list view. So uh, that was in 2014. In the meanwhile, after thinking and thinking, I came across with an existing solution from a, a DJ software package called Recordbox 
And uh, I was impressed uh, uh, the way uh, they structured, the, the way to find uh, and uh, basically tag uh, and uh, uh, very access to the information, to the song. So we said, why we can do that in uh, EAP Next? So we introduced uh, uh, what we call standard filters. It's basically in a, an add-on uh, from the default filters. We call the default filters, the line uh, above, above here, are the default filters where basically you can select the, the field and uh, make the, uh, the selection and put the data. And uh, we add on top something that is, uh, is, uh, is really uh, well, For instance, this one uh, is, a, is from suppliers. Okay, it's a, a supplier doc type. So uh, we've done a dashboard that on top uh, you can toggle all, on and off. You can uh, show or, or not show. And uh, basically, we organize uh, with row, uh, with columns here of the most used fields that people in any department need. And uh, we make it clickable. So when you click, uh, for instance, on this, it goes straight on the top, on the, the full filters. So it's uh, basically enhancing what the, the guys on ERPNX already did. And uh, that basically allows you to, for every doc type to uh, select the fields that you mostly use. And uh, it speed up the researching. And because it's intuitive, user-friendly, you can use it with your mobile phone pretty, pretty quick. And uh, of course, all these numbers also can be reused to see what's going on. It's a kind of quick report for reviewing uh, the data. And uh, is a... Uh... See, we still use the default filters the one that you find in the current version, ERP Next. We actually, we haven't released it, this uh, to the community, but it's a, it's a plan to, to be released. So here, with this, you can basically talk all, on and off uh, the data. So if you don't want to see it, it just disappears. And then uh, you can, uh, for each type of data, you can uh, basically select uh, uh, by a click what, what you need. And uh, automatically, the, the list view and the report, you know, get the, the filter generated on the top. So it's, a, it's very quick filtering. Uh, yeah, to do that, we had to move uh, the stuff on the side, the sidebar, into it. So we done enhancement also in the tags that they're going to present uh, after this. And... Uh, Basically, yeah, for each uh, data type, uh, we basically dedicate uh, a behavior. So for the option, you know, you see the option, you can click, click yes or no to filter. For date, you go, uh, we introduce uh, something that I would like uh, the APNX guys uh, to start using. When you select uh, a time frame, uh, we start using a date picker. So, uh, it was in the, the previous this date picker. Basically with one field, one date, one field, you can have a selection. And this is really improve uh, the speed up of uh, the the date the date filtering. Was was too cranky in selecting two uh two date the from and the two was too many clicks. So we do this uh, date picker. Uh, well, uh, well, other features so I don't I don't want to spend time on that introducing, but the setup setup is basically when you go and customize your uh, your doc type, we are just a uh, a checkbox just after the in list view where you can check it in standard filter when you refresh. You get basically on the dashboard in this uh, filter dashboard. You get the, the call. All right. So now it is we we redesign. Well, we we haven't changed. We just uh, organize a bit better. Is the tag categories and basically uh, at the moment 
we, we use a lot of tags, especially for the issues, because uh, uh, we need to uh, record uh, issues and we need, we need to monitor the status of the progress. So we did that by using the tags. And, uh, but they were too mixed up because uh, uh, each, uh, each entry, uh, because we got, uh, we, are, we got different products, they, they may come from you know, different uh, customers. So we organize in uh, tag categories the tags that uh, people insert. And uh, so basically, this one helps to um, something missing here. Yeah? Uh, probably the setup. Okay. Okay. Anyway, setting up is easy. You just tell uh, which doc type. Uh, uh, you want uh, the, these uh, new tag categories to be shown, and uh, uh, you can re reorganize your, uh, um, your sidebar. Okay, another feature that we introduced is uh, uh, a new app, basically. It's an inbox. It basically, is a, it's an application that uh, sync uh, your email. And uh, basically, what it does is uh, when you create a contact, in the counter doc type. Uh, once you create it, and uh, once you activate uh, this inbox, uh, it automatically trap all the mails and just start putting the right place. So, for instance, customer A, you get an email from customer A, automatically the inbox, you put in the time code, uh, timeline code, yeah, timeline code of the customer. So down the bottom, you see everything what's going on in the communication automatically, as soon as you get an email. Of course, you need to register that email, so each user can have uh, two or more, one or more, sorry. You can see there yeah, several accounts, email, and then from the email inbox, you can start matching the entity, it can be either a customer, a supplier, we introduce organization for uh, as a, another doc type that represent uh, stakeholders in a company because uh, they might, might not be involved uh, as a um, in financial transactions. They might you know provide uh, like newsletter etc. And you want to record that communication. So. Uh, We organize basically in two columns, the matching and linking. Matching is a matching to a company, a user, an organization, you know, somebody to show in the time, timeline code the, the last correspondent. Also, in this column, we match uh, the doc type. Because uh, if you want to uh, see specifically on a sending voice, on a delivery note, what's going on, you can do that. Users can uh, actually tell what, where the message uh, has to go. So, how it actually works when uh, when you are in the list and you click on an email, if the contact is not linked to any existing contact, as soon as he asks you, do you want to create a new contact to match or replace something already existing, or do you don't want to intervene yet? Then you create the contact, and the result basically is in the time timeline at the bottom of every doc type. You got basically the result. Something we introduce is the uh, collapse and uh, because the, the, the email were taking too much space to scroll, so we just. Uh, put here a down arrow where you can actually collapse and uh, uh, compress uh, an email. Uh, yeah, this one is the relink. So on the email inbox, uh, you can directly there link the doc type you want. 
but then if you're not satisfied or by mistake it goes to the wrong place, we create a real link here, where basically you can re relink the communication. So you can reorganize in case of mistake because we do mistake. So we need to recover. That's another uh, all our work eh, to extend his PSPX he was he was on, on this, on uh, uh, make it a little more flexible, okay, and uh, contribute to make it more fle flexible. Because we release a lot of uh, all of things because we were feeling they were important, you know, to strengthen this uh, this software. <laughs> Okay, I don't want to spend time on the setup. Another thing that we do, now time is an issue even in our company. So we kind of recycle the previous, the format time log, and uh, because uh, we need to do uh, payroll, probably not even more. I saw a good presentation, the previous one, about payroll. I might really be interested if uh, get. But what we're doing at the moment is uh, logging all the employees' time. Uh, actually, they do by themselves. And uh, we start analyzing uh, the project man manager analyze what's going on. So uh, we create, create a, a report uh, where basically you can see where people book uh, on the project on the support ticket issues, where they book the time. So. You can analyze uh, what's going on. If something is missing, uh, if somebody book uh, to the wrong to the, to the wrong project, uh, so it's a it's a it's a report we need uh, to improve and find more the, the the checking. Okay, I don't want to spend time in in this. This one is the organization doc type. Basically, uh, we do. We purchased from overseas. World first, uh, what used to be one of our uh, exchange, uh, they were booking uh, overseas uh, currencies for us. Now we use another one, but we still get newsletter from World first. I don't want to lose them because they give us information we need. So we create uh, the organization doc type, and uh, like uh, you know, ERP Next does, uh, it's got the section for the addresses and the section for the contact. You register the contact and automatically with the inbox everything is linked, all the communication is linked. So if you want to uh, see latest news from WordPress, you just ask it to the organization, doc type, and down the bottom there is all the latest correspondence. Okay, so we really trust on the first day because uh, we were happy to, to see that there were, you know, the Ipnex was evolving so quick, uh, and we could uh, really uh, take part of it because uh, you know it's a kind of a reward to see something growing uh, and uh, getting solid. And uh, so we start hiring uh, developers that uh, were releasing a small and uh, big uh, uh, contribution since 2014. We spend uh, yeah, spending money, and, uh, and my boss uh, trusts on this. And uh, from uh, an internal uh, package, now we are ready to start uh, reselling. So probably next step will be we take on board on the providers as a providers. We got already the first customer. And uh, no, no, come on, come on. <laughs> so, no, no. Things we're gonna do. <laughs> so there is a. In order to uh, close the circle on the email inbox, uh, we need to intervene in the lead. Lead is something separate, but we kind of want to, to merge it uh, in the contact. So, right, something. so that, that's our next, uh, next, uh, next step. HR, HR is payroll uh, for Australian standards. Uh, um, something that we, we want to improve. Uh, we want uh, next. As soon as I back, uh, we're gonna start uh, doing uh, reports for Australian Transaction Office. Uh, we're gonna start verticalize for our country some important report, and uh, we want kind of uh, give a contribution in uh, redesign uh, because it's a bit confusing. Report, report builder is a bit confusing. I w we want to actually uh, have a, a better reporting system for touch screens. 
I want our employees use, uh, uh, because they are often on site, uh, they use uh, their tablet, they use their, uh, my boss is traveling a lot recently, so I want that he's got access to his tablet. And at the moment, the current report, they are not really user friendly. My boss kind of hate them, so we want to improve that. So we really want to contribute. Also, integration with Google, Google Calendar, Drive and Keep, we start using it a lot, so we want to integrate it. And the Microsoft project, and the QR codes for login material and the label. Okay, thanks guys.